IRU provides minimally invasive uh, treatments for a range of uh, patients with a range of conditions uh, across the trust and also external patients. From other trusts, we uh, treat patients who are elective, so they come in, they know they're going to have the procedure and they're planned, and we also treat emergency patients and inpatients as well. We provide an on-call service to the trust 24-7. The new IRU unit is going to bring us the, lots of potential for developing new treatments, also managing our waiting list more efficiently and uh, link ups with educational facilities such as the Radiology Academy and there's potential for research. Uh, um, we're getting new state of the art um, C arms in that would uh, be the only hospital in the country I believe with two of the Siemens Phenos. It's going to make a massive difference to what we can do in our in an interventional setting. So this is a long awaited, much needed expansion in a service of uh, the demand for which has grown and grown over the last 20 or 30 years, but ever increasingly so with more and more procedures um, being undertaken by uh, in interventional radiology versus traditional open surgery. It offers us an ability to treat a, a really broad range of patients. There's uh, our single biggest patient group are those who were traditionally managed with vascular surgery, but it's not just that. There's an awful lot of other patients who we, who we deal with, from, from those who are managed by oncology to urology and a, a number of other different specialties, some of the gastroenterological the GI specialties as well. We need a lot more space to do the types of procedures that we do, but we'll also, as we're changing the type of equipment within it, enable us to do much more complex procedures. Um, and start some new procedures which we've been unable to start over the last few years including things like prostate embolisation. We're hoping to take some of the further cancer treatments that we offer in terms of percutaneous ablation um, and improve and expand that service to the cancer patients um, and it will enable us to do some more complex vascular procedures um, mainly on the main blood vessels in the body by having these much larger sea arms with much more space and what, what we do sort of part surgical, part angiographic things which we struggle to do with our current technology. The new unit will greatly benefit my patients by ensuring that they get timely interventions for fistulaplasty procedures, uh, for thrombolysis procedures when they've got clotted fistulas and also for line insertions should they need them. At the moment, occasionally, we have to cancel patients who need these procedures doing urgently because of the fact there's a high inpatient demand. So the new unit should help to um, improve waiting times and reduce cancellations. The consultant, we have a six monthly check with him and he will look at all the various results and decide whether we do actually need to have this um, procedure carried out, which is entering a, a capillary tube and expanding it to increase the blood flow. They, we have an injection so that we don't feel any pain, then it's just entered into the vessel and expanded. And so that's a good thing really, it prolongs the fistula. You know, they do explain everything to you and they're so kind and understanding, you can't fault them, they're absolutely marvellous. You know, they saving our lives as well, which is, is a bonus. <laughs> it's a fantastic opportunity for members of a multidisciplinary team of nurses, ODPs, radiographers and radiology support workers to come and start working or continue working in a, a brand new environment, purpose built, um, with all the facilities that you could require um, and with the new cutting edge technology that's being brought in, um, as a radiographer, I'm very excited about that because it will give us the opportunity to do new procedures and uh, develop skills in areas we haven't previously done and that will apply across the whole team, just, not just the radiographers. And the need for us to increase uh, our capacity has been obvious for a long time um, and this step change, big step change in the amount of capacity we have will make a huge difference. I think there's a um, you know, really, really amazing opportunity for us to finally be able to deliver what we've wanted to deliver for a long time, what our clinicians are desperate to be able to offer their patients because they've not had the capacity to do so and what we know our patients need.